Popular ice cream flavors may now be hard to find because of climate change. Ooh, that's really, <laughs> really upsetting. We might start seeing shortages of coffee, cocoa, vanilla, or even chocolate in our icy treats. Elise Preston visited the Ben & Jerry's factory in Vermont to get the full scoop. It's chocolate chip cookie dough day inside the factory where Ben & Jerry's makes its ice cream. Bite-sized chunks of frozen cookie dough get added, followed by chocolate chips. But climate change is threatening this popular ice cream pint and many others. All of these flavors in the cup are endangered. They are because they've all got cocoa, coffee, vanilla, nuts. All of these ingredients are actually now under threat. Cheryl Pinto is known as the sorceress at Ben & Jerry's because she sources all the raw ingredients. She says sustainable chocolate is getting harder to find. 60% of the world's chocolate comes from West Africa, where poor farmers are facing the effects of deforestation. 80-90% of the trees are gone. When you start removing the forest, you actually impact the regional weather patterns. Researchers forecast 90% of the area in the region currently used for cocoa cultivation won't be able to grow the crop by 2050. And the type of coffee being used in 70% of worldwide coffee production can't tolerate temperatures over 73 degrees. Unfortunately, where we grow coffee, which is more towards the equator, those areas are getting affected the most by climate change. Plant scientist Dr. Alan Van Dyne says farmers will need to adopt new species of endangered crops. I'm an optimist. We're finding varieties that can take the heat a little better, and some crops are going to thrive more than others. But Van Dyne's and Pinto agree. New varieties will taste different and cost more to grow. What we have to do, though, is be very aware of where our food is coming and how do we support those farmers. She says in this warmer world, consumers should demand their cold treats are sourced well. Elise Preston, CBS News, Waterbury, Vermont. And these are some of the stories we'll be following throughout the day here on CBS News. The Senate is in session today. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he wants to bring the CHIPS Act to the floor this week. The legislation is designed to help ease the nationwide microprocessor shortage. And the White House is updating the president's progress in his recovery from the coronavirus. COVID response coordinator Dr. Hajish Jha is once again joining the daily press briefing. And thousands forced from their homes. The latest on the wildfire burning outside Yosemite National Park. We're streaming CBS News.